Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a video email using Gmail. This is an example of a video email. This is actually not a video. This is just an image of the video with a link that points back to where the video is. This could point back to YouTube where it would play the video or in this case this points right to my website where the video automatically plays. And there's another video that shows you how to embed a video into your website. Watch that first if you want to create this video email. Um, so the first thing we need to do is we need to create the email. We need to create that image. In Gmail there's not a, a function. You, we could upload an image here as an attachment but you don't want to do an attachment because it won't, it won't actually display correctly. So you're going to have to capture that image. So the best way to capture that image is just go to YouTube and go under find the video under here under your video manager and I provided some other links where you can find um, where you can find um, video tutorials on how to create a video email and upload it to YouTube and now we're going to we're going to use another tool here that I use called toolsfornoobs.com we're going to copy this URL where the video is on YouTube this is even if it's on your website you're going to copy this URL from YouTube and then we're going to paste that in here and we're just going to click generate code that'll give us a video here if I move my mouse over it'll change this to red I want that to be red I like the red versus the black so and then I'm going to just do a print screen on my computer. I'm going to hit on the keyboard. I'm going to just push print screen on the keyboard. And then I'm going to open up Windows Paint. And I'm going to paste that in here. And I'm going to use a select tool in my image editor. And I'm just going to select just the image of the video that I want. And then I'm going to hit crop. Now I'm going to want to save this as a JPEG. So go down, save as, JPEG, name it something that that you can remember. And then I'm going to, now I'm going to have to upload that image somewhere. So I'm going to, there's another link there to a website called teenypick.com. I'm going to browse to the image, open it, I'm going to upload the image. It may prompt you with uh, to put in a, a code or something. In this case, it didn't. And then this is the URL that I want to capture right here. And then I'm going to go to to the next link that I provided, which is a WYSIWYG editor, and that basically just stands for what you see is what you get. So open up that open up that link and you're going to delete whatever's here and then we're going to click on this image link here and we're going to paste this teeny pink URL into that WYSIWYG editor where we click that image okay and then we're going to click and we want to put an alternate text in here as well so if the image doesn't show up we'll just put play video and then we'll hit OK then we're going to select that image and we're going to click on hyper, the hyperlink button here right here link and we're going to put in the link where we want this to point back now if you have a website you're going to point it to the website where that's going to be and if you, if you don't have a website you're just going to go to the YouTube video and you're going to copy that exact same URL and put that in there as the hyperlink. Okay, now that you've done that, you're going to select, click on that image, and you're going to copy it. So it wants us to do Control C. Control C copies the image. And then we're going to go back to our email, and we're just going to Control V to paste that into our email and that's how you get the image with the link in there and now from here you can go ahead and um, go ahead and add whoops you can go ahead and add whatever 
whatever you're going to put for your greeting. And if you want to do a mail merge, I've also provided a mail merge tool that you'll find a, um, a tutorial for as well, um, where you can add a, you can put first name here and put everybody's first name in here according to your Gmail groups. And that's the entire process. Now this, this will actually be a link when they send the email that will point right back to that YouTube video where it will automatically play. And that's the process.